at the storage and it's pulling some orders and we've got some pretty good orders. First right here, $10 for this gigantic thing of blank VHSs. We had it all the way up to like 40 bucks and 30 bucks. Somebody said $10 plus shipping and we will take it. Joy, thank you so much. You bought the Lego movie from us. It is heading your direction. We also have a genuine Dyson V6 Cyclone animal powered. What's that noise? You hear that? Is that a mouse? Probably. That was weird. Uh, it is a charger to a Dyson. Went for $12.24 plus shipping. We have a Ryobi pinless moisture meter. Bought this for $2 the other day at that crazy yard sale we were at. So this is like the fastest selling thing on on eBay. Zero listed, 10 sold. New, used, doesn't matter, $39 plus shipping. Our Probably our biggest sale, I think, is a tail light. If you all remember this, I got this tail light probably last year, maybe six months ago, at a uh, yard sale. The guy was selling a whole bunch of parts for VW bugs and everybody, they that's a good vehicle to get parts for because people redo those. This is a snowflake uh tail light in the middle it's gonna be kind of hard to see but in the middle of this right there see how it kind of looks like a snowflake oh yeah that's what they they're called and it's the original equipment so uh, we sold one for i think 150 we just sold that one for 175 the glass is not broken glass is actually in super good condition and i think we picked that up for like i think the whole box was 40 bucks or 30 bucks and we've that's pure profit by now because it was it was pretty good Look at this. Did you ever think this was going to sell? No. No. You said, why are you buying that big metal cannon? I knew that somebody would buy this. It is the United States Marine Corps one. There is the United States Marine Corps uh, emblem right there. And it sold for $50 plus shipping. $50. I picked it up for 5 bucks. We had a Lululemon jacket sell, size 6. They have weird uh, sizes. You just have to like work on the size, extra large, large. They had do numbers instead of letters. And uh, it's they're kind of a pain, aren't they? Yeah. To figure once you figure it out, you and actually find the circle. Yeah, you gotta find it's in like the a pocket. Yeah, it's like under a pocket. <laughs> it's like finding where's Waldo on Lululemon, what size it is. But we found the size on that one, forty dollars plus shipping on that. You found you sold the Loops and Thread Chunky Lux Big Burgundy Blend, thirty-two yard yarn, twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents. Sixty-five dollars for uh, inside of this is an SK Tools. 3.8 drive set reversible ratchet, 65 bucks. That ain't too bad. Then eight bucks for an Orvis shirt. That's what I'm saying about Orvis. Uh, it has to be like, Patagonia is kind of getting to that point too where it has to be a certain like item that sells for good money, but Patagonia always sells, right? I, I don't, you're gonna mostly sell things over $8, but Orvis, Orvis you really have to pay attention to because a lot of Orvis stuff is not worth a whole bunch. This is just a regular buttoned up shirt. Nothing special about it, all cotton, not worth a whole bunch. So we used to pick up a lot of Orvis things. We kind of shy away from that unless it's something special or something like that. My Disney thing, remember the Disney ears, rubber ears, if you watch the Beard Dirk Machine, and we picked it up for five bucks, so for $25, and it's like a rubber thing with ketchup and mustard in it. Am I describing it? It's like a picnic thing. It was funny, the Craftsman half inch drive, it's a half inch drive racket, ratchet sold $25. I had it in the booth for 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. Did not sell, put it back online, sold almost instantaneously for 25. Cool pants sold, convertible. Convertible pants are just the ones that unzip at the knee and can make them short. So if you have the unzip type, keyword convertible for some reason. If the top ain't down, you're actually legless. Should call it something like that, right? Not convertible. Convertible, top down. There's got, I don't, I don't know. know, 20 bucks plus shipping. Then $45 plus shipping on the Craftsman Next Tech. Next Tech stuff always sells N-E-X-T-E-C. If you see any of that stuff out there, usually you're gonna go between 35 to 60 bucks. Get it for $10 at a Goodwill. Get it for $10 at a yard sale. 100% gonna make some money on that one. Vintage green knit head cover sold. So that ain't too shabby. Actually, me and you were talking about uh, our new strategy for eBay is to list higher priced items. And we're trying to do that. As you can tell, if you've been following this channel for a while, there'd be a lot of $8. And we have some $8 stuff here, $10 stuff here, but we're really trying to wean off of that and only list 25 and up, 20 and up, somewhere around there. And what we're finding is, is that we're not making a lot of sales, but we're making the same amount of money, which is like the name of the game, right? Sure. If you yeah. can make less sales and the same money or more, 
that's the way to do it because la yesterday I think we only sold like six items, mm -hmm. but it was like 400 bucks in sales, which before we would have 15 items for 400 bucks in sales. Today, as you can tell me, I, don't, I haven't looked at it, but right here is probably two, three, probably $300 in sales. Some, <laughs> that's your phone, it didn't sell. <laughs> so probably $300 in sales, maybe a little bit more, and it's only these items right here. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do, and then the rest of this stuff that we pick up, uh, we give you all a really good deal on whatnot. Because we usually pick it up for cheap and we'll sell it on there for a decent price. You know, there's still good items, still good quality items. But usually now on eBay, we're trying to get that higher value or the higher dollar stuff. And higher dollar, I'm saying like 25 and up because that's still pretty good. Because a lot of people live on eBay between like 10 and 20 bucks. That's a good place to live too because you get a lot of sales that way. We would just like the, you know, 25 to 50. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would not like to, I mean, it would be nice to sell $175 items all day long, right? Yeah. Especially that are this size. Yeah. That to us just, it's impossible to find that type of stuff. And like returns hurt. Like we had two returns come in. One was over a hundred bucks and one was like 88 bucks. So the returns hurt pretty significant when they're that high dollars. But, uh, but that's our goal. And um, that's what we're doing. So we're going to wrap this stuff up, ship it out. At the storage unit, and sales are pretty slow, to be quite honest with you. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. They are slow, but we are blessed to have the sales we do. Seven bucks for a gobbler. That ain't too bad. Sash shoes, pre-owned. We got a pair of red ones right here. $29.99 for those. And they look just like these, and these went for $20. They look orange. So they are, yeah, they're orange in the picture. Oh, okay. And this picture right here, we did the AI background. I just messed up. Can't see because we ain't got no minutes. But as you can tell, I put them on this nice little desk. That's, that's pretty. Good. That's pretty nice. Twenty nine ninety nine. The Dewalt stuff that we picked up at the Goodwill on our last, I think, video on the Beard of Thrift Machine. If you watch that channel, picked up for ten bucks. Sold it almost instantaneously for fifty without a battery. This little Mac tools right here in pretty rough condition, even with a etched somebody's initial in went for five bucks plus shipping i know that's not a ton of money but hey we take what we can get 7.99 for this again not huge the dance goes that we picked up at a huge yard sale i think that video actually is the next one on the beater thrift machine or y'all probably have already watched it bought them for 20 sold them and within a week mm -hmm. for 71.60 they were brand new dance goes uh a ps4 game sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Then we had another Ryobi, so it's the uh, 40 volt quick charge. They're like the little chargers. We also picked it up at that big yard sale for like 50 cents, so for $9.35. So our last whatnot show did very, very well. And we appreciate everybody coming out to the jewelry sales. We also just picked up a ton more jewelry, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Sterling silver, no gold, but sterling silver and some really cool uh, costume pieces that are na name brand. That stuff still sells and people love it. They love it. So we have another jewelry sale probably coming up very soon when this video drops, there'll be another WhatNot show coming up. And uh, we kind of messed up on the last one. It wasn't like a mess up. It was more of a learning lesson. Learning curve. So what we did was, is we usually took pictures and we try to stay organized and we just do the best that we can. And so we were trying to like not skip a step, but make it faster. Mm -hmm. So what happened was you bulk listed 60 items. Yes, with one picture. With one picture and then just did a one through 60 and then we just put on the items one through 60. So one through 60 on the items with little tabs. And you would think that would work, right? Like right. In, in the perfect world, that would work. Well, what happened was, is that I was on the computer, you were doing the stuff, people were buying, we're talking, I'm <laughs> talking to people, you know what I'm saying? And I end up running the wrong number. I ran uh, number 35 in place of 17 because 17 did not sell mm -hmm. and that threw off like a, a whirlwind right and the worst thing is is we did not have a picture to correlate the item now if we had a picture it wouldn't matter because we could say this picture this item sold so it was like it was tough and we could go to video receipts right but the video receipts were not in order for the item that sold right so, so. we had to watch our whole entire stream again which was two hours long to make sure everybody got the correct item. Yeah, it so, was. Yeah, so we are going to take the extra step. We have another one tonight, and we took the extra step of taking a picture, putting a number on it too, and putting it in a specific place. I know some people, man, they, they on whatnot, they're so good. They're like, this. they don't have anything but like one listing, yeah. and they're just like, here we go, and they put a sticker on it, that ain't us. Nope. I'm telling you right now, we are the, like, we're the boomers. That, I have too much anxiety for that. Yeah, we're the boomers that need a picture, a number, a certain spot for it, and your name. 
I'm a double checker, triple checker. Yeah, and it's just one of those things. So that would be like a learning curve. You all heard doing the same thing. Or you have a better way to do whatnot. Tell us down below. But that was the best way that we could find is that we do take a picture. We run them numerically. We don't pull from the middle and then start again. We just... We're not the, we try to be organized, but that really confuses us for some reason. Our brain elators can't handle it. You are too methodical to handle it, and I'm a mess in my brain to handle it. I can't be running different numbers. Next thing you know, I'll just be pushing buttons. So that wasn't too bad. We do appreciate everybody coming out. Know that we do have another WhatNot show. We're going to be on WhatNot a lot unless we're traveling. We're, we're, we might boost it up to once a week on WhatNot. And there are going to be different shows. We're thinking about being more specialized, like all jewelry, all hat. We might throw all tool in there. So and all pin. All pin. Yeah, I wonder we might do what it. people think about having an all pin whatnot show. All pin because you have a ton of cool and pins. They're vintage pieces. Yeah. There's the pins with names on the back. Name pins. Billy the yeah. pin. Bobby the pin. I don't know. Bobby I don't know how pins. How people feel about that? Yeah. So we have all pins. We might have all tools. Instead of doing a whole bunch of a lot of things, tell us what you think down below. We read all of these comments. And we really go on with what y'all say. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want to see like an all, because the jewelry shows do well. Mm -hmm. People come for jewelry and they buy jewelry and they like it. Our all hat show did considerably better than trying to sell hats, not having an all hat show. So um, and we might do an all vintage clothing show. Yeah. Or Because we have the inventory to do it. We might do an all Harley show. I got tons of Harley gear here. We might do an all Harley show. So do you like the, the very specific shows or would you rather have a whole bunch of stuff ran that's just like hodgepodge, like purses, shirts, hats, tools, all in one or very specific. Tell us down below. What we're going to do is wrap this stuff up, ship it out.